why is a ketogenic, high-fat, moderate-protein, low-carb diet dangerous? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I don't advocate such a diet. I advocate a high-protein, uh, very low-carb diet, and whatever fat happens to come along with the protein. I don't advocate going out and looking for fat to add to your meals. Uh, I just don't think it's necessary or there's any purpose, uh, except perhaps for those rare individuals who need to make as much ketones as possible, such as people with uh, seizure disorders. Uh, there have been studies done with children with seizure disorders showing that uh, for some of these people, uh, a totally adequate treatment is a very ketogenic diet. So virtually no carbohydrate and uh, pushing the fats. Is there any harm to this? No, uh, not to my knowledge. Uh, in fact, uh, as we indicate in the book, Diabetes Solution, the survival of mankind is based upon getting adequate amounts of ketones in the blood to keep the brain alive when there's a famine, uh, when you're starving and uh, have uh, used up all your stored glycogen and there's no more vegetation around and you're hunting for animals to get some protein, uh, you start metabolizing your fat. And uh, when the body converts, oxidizes fat and converts it to energy, one of the byproducts is ketones which are an excellent substrate for the brain. The brain lives off the ketones while the muscles live off the fat. So ketones are essential for the survival of humanity. Doctors are taught this in medical school. I was taught this in biochemistry. But when they go on the wards and see uh, children dying of ketoacidosis from very high blood sugars and dehydration, usually there's vomiting, and very high blood sugars combined, uh, they, uh, the doctors get frightened of ketones. But what's killing these kids is dehydration.